Hey homeschoolers, welcome to homeschool and this video is especially for class 10 students who are going to write their board examination in this month. I have come up with a smart study tip regarding science. So this smart tip I have identified with the help of lot of research that I have done from past two to three days. So don't skip the video, watch till the end and you will just be shocked listening to this particular smart tip okay say this is the nth moment for you all the people who are with lot of confusion if you are worried how to revise entire science uh, within 10 days or within a week then this is the best tip for you to revise complete science so that you really going to get a very good score okay so let me share the tip straight away guys so i have downloaded three years previous question papers of cbsc class 10 so i took 2022 uh, board paper so let me write so i took 2022 board paper 2023 board paper and 2024 board papers okay so i took around two to three sets of uh, you know each year and i have analyzed like from what concepts they started asking questions and what is the pattern of framing a question you know i carefully analyzed this from past two to three days and i found out a particular pattern that they have used for asking a question so here i am going to share that particular pattern guys so what i observed was so they have got some concepts okay so there are certain concepts uh, from different different chapters you know from the same concepts okay so i found questions from the same concepts in all the years okay right so same concepts but different questions so they took the same concept but questions they asked differently guys you don't find the same question in all the three papers questions were different okay but the concept was same so this is the pattern i have identified guys so now let me first show you the proof for that so i just selected a few random questions okay so i'm showing you as a proof like this there are so many questions they have framed okay in these question papers concepts were same but different different questions the same concept they started asking differently in these years okay see most you you, you will find 60 percent of the concepts same okay in 2022 2023 and 2024 60 percent of the concepts that selected were same guys but questions they framed it differently each year so hope you are getting my point if you have got my point say got it in the comment section guys this is important say got it in the comment section okay fine so first now let me show you the proof guys see look at this question so we know this is a very very famous uh, chemical reaction this is the question that i took from 2022 uh, pyq uh, guys so mno2 plus xhcl giving mncl2 plus yh2o plus zcl2 so what they are asking you is about the balancing okay so they are asking you what is the value of x y and z here okay so it's a very simple question say uh, you will just say right so how do you balance say look over here here two cl's two cl's so definitely x has to be four right so you will put four here so the moment you put four here it becomes four hydrogen so y has to be two okay so your y has to be two and uh, you know cl how many cl's uh, you will show here say uh, two cl's are already here so two cl's has to be there here so your z value has to be one okay so uh, x is equal to four y is equal to two z is equal to one so where is the option four two one so you will go for option c guys remember see i don't want to stress about what way they frame the question i wanted you to stress about this chemical equation guys okay so 
keeping this chemical equation in a mind question can be framed in n number of ways so based on this chemical equation they framed a question this way in 2022 board paper right so now let me go for the next page where this is the question of 2023 guys okay so look at this question the same equation so what you found here concept is same isn't it equation is same but the question is entirely different so they didn't ask you about balancing here they asked different concept here so what is the question here the reaction given above is a redox reaction because in this case so they had given the four options you have to select the correct option okay say what happened here is mno2 got converted into mncl2 right so that means removal of oxygen took place removal of oxygen is called as reduction right so that means mno2 is reduced MnO2 is reduced. So obviously the other reagent, you no need to check now. Checking is a time waste. If you got to know one reagent got reduced, then definitely the other reagent. What is the other reagent? HCl. HCl is oxidized. Right. So where is the option? So look at here. MnO2 is reduced and HCl is oxidized. So option D is the correct answer. Right. See guys equation is same okay but the way they framed the question in the next year was completely different likewise there are so many repeated concepts in the past three to four years of question papers guys almost you know 60 percent of the concepts were same they were repeatedly asked but in a different way this point has to be noted they were asked in a different way okay question is not repeated concept is repeated okay right so one more proof i will show right so uh, look at another question which i selected from physics category okay so the pattern of the magnetic field produced inside a current carrying solenoid is okay so they had given the three patterns here right so solenoids uh, you know pattern they started asking right so we know that inside a solenoid uh, you know the magnetic field lines run parallel to each other isn't it so the magnetic field lines run parallel to each other so definitely you would go for this pattern right see about a solenoid they started asking and this question i think it is from a 2024 uh, board exam see they have asked you the question directly what is solenoid okay draw the pattern of magnetic field lines of the magnetic field produced by the solenoid through which a steady current flows so they have they have asked the pattern right so guys about the solenoid concept itself they started asking the questions in all those years okay so my kind suggestion is say if you are worried about how to revise the science okay so if you are worried about uh, you know the concepts are getting confused if you overwhelmed with so many concepts and how to uh, you know organize and study then the smart tip that I suggest is download 2022 paper, 2023 paper, 2024 paper. So download at least two sets or even if it is a single set is also fine. Okay. So you would find six question paper. So each, I mean two sets if you download from uh, each year, you will get six question paper. Okay, so download the board papers, not the sample papers or something. So just go to CBSE website. Okay, so CBSE website you go and uh, you can easily get access to the previous year question papers. So uh, even I can provide the link in the description also. Okay, the link of the uh, previous year question papers uh, I'll provide in the description. Just use that link to download these question papers. Okay, and what you can do is you know select the question say we know that you will have uh, you know around uh, some number of questions in a question paper right so every day right what i suggest you is say uh, you can take 2022 paper 
फॉर टू डेज 2023 papers for two days and 2024 papers for two days. So in these two days, what you would do is, okay. So every day, what you would do is, so select some questions. So around, say on day one, on day one, take around 15 questions and don't try to solve and mug up those 15 questions. Study the concepts behind those 15 questions. Okay. So study the concepts, yar. Okay, say for example, look over here. Say the question is based on the solenoid, right? So you have to open the solenoid concept in the textbook or your material, maybe. Okay, so study each and everything about solenoid A to Z. Okay, so I think. in this nth moment this is the smartest way way of revising the concepts since you already have the proof here of asking the same questions again and again so what i can suggest you is uh, you know pick the questions and uh, see the question has come from which concept so study all those concepts from basic to depth i think if you study all these concepts you know of 2022 paper 2023 paper and 2020 for paper that is more than enough to get a very good number in this year's board paper guys trust me guys so how do you feel about this does it making sense for you all because this i have identified by doing a research you know i got through all these question papers and identified this pattern so at least study the concepts that they have asked in the previous 3 years and you know what more or less the same concepts can get repeated even this year also not the same question but the question can be differently asked okay so you should be knowing a to z of the entire concept right so don't forget to comment in the comment section does it make sense did you like this smart tip so whatever your opinion may be share it in the comment section see guys if you want all the chapters to get revised in one shot you know what i have a beautiful course i actually did my target 95 plus course the course is over and you know you will find all the concepts available with a detailed explanation all chapters can get over within one shot okay so the course is uh, available at a very very minimum price guys in the home school uh, application so guys you can just download home school application and um, uh, check out this target 95 plus course the link i will provide in the description so within 10 days if you want all the chapters to get revised in one shot i think this is the best course so uh, i'll provide the link in the description please go through the course for the complete revision of the concepts okay so and just follow this smart tip guys so that you will get confidence uh, of scoring good number this year okay so all the very best my blessings are always with you so no stress no tension this is just like any other exam guys okay so just put your 100% efforts and results will automatically follow you stay positive stay positive because you become what you think so if you are fearful you know the same thing would happen okay so whatever you have fear of that will get manifested so guys never be fearful of the exam always be confident always always be with a positive mindset everything will go on with a positive way don't forget to apply this smart trick guys so it will give you a wonderful result so all the best see you in the next video